Aha! This is Laborts, and it is so very nice to have you here. These are the paints you need. After prepping the models, I used Vallejo Grey Primer, and after I was done with priming, I realized that my imp leader only had one arm. So Mrs. Laborts came to the rescue and made him a new one from Green Stuff, and it's turned out pretty freaking sweet. Also, all the steps are the same for the leader as well as for the little imps, only with one exception, but uh, Papa Laborts will give you a heads up for that, okay? First we apply Blood Angel's Red, try to paint around his little demon skirt, but don't worry about if you get some red on his other parts. We want to cover the whole skin, with the wings included. You can apply paint a bit more heavily into the crevices, because when it dries it will be darker than the parts coated with less paint, creating some contrast and definition. Now we cover all of his weapon and armor parts with gunmetal. Guys, always use a different brush and most importantly a different water pot for metallic colors. The metallic flakes in the paints will ruin your brush pretty quickly, so don't use your fancy saber brushes for metallics or at least use a different fancy saber brush. Otherwise you'll be slapped on your tiny hand. After that we paint the horns and hooves and the grip of the sword with mechanical standard grey, base layer consistency. You can even go with the paint with straight out of the pot consistency on the horns if you want to cover some of the imperfections around the mold lines, which I hoped you removed by now. Now I'm fixing the drapes with white grey, if you didn't stain them with blood angels red then you are great and beautiful, you should skip that part, but Papa Labort's old shaky hands made some mistakes here and there so some touch up wouldn't hurt. Also we paint the teeth with white grey. Try to be careful not to paint the lips or the mouth. If you make a mistake here, don't try to fix it with Blood Angels Red. Use Mephisto Red or something similar, because it will be a lot harder to fix mistakes with a contrast paint. Then we shade our miniature with Null Oil. You can go a bit heavy with this. In for the horns, the armor and the sword. The Null Oil will flow nicely into the armor crevices and it will give us some nice definition, quick and easy. After that we use Skeleton Horde on the teeth and his drips. Fortunately for us, because we let the Blood Angels Red pull in the crevices, you can't make a mistake with Skeleton Horde if you stain the red parts, because it will be invisible on the non-grey parts. You can go heavier with it or give another coat of it to get some nicer shades, but I think it's fine with even one coat. I want to give the armor a bit of an old look, so I went in with Agrax Earthshade. This will give us a nice cold and dark brown tint on the top of our Null Oil. Also, make sure the Null Oil is dry when you apply the Agrax Earthshade. Put some of it on the beard and the hair. And here is our exception for the leader. For him, use Skeleton Horde for the armor and apply two layers to his mace's grip. With the Demonite Hide, we apply the first highlight to the horn. Try your best not to paint over the crevices of the horn and leave the dark areas as it is between the horn grooves. Look at all these steps and we didn't glaze at all. Huh? Pretty good, huh? Yeah, it was a bit of uh, foreshadowing. Okay. Always use the same motion with your brush and try to paint lines with your glaze to make sure it doesn't flow into the crevices and also creates a nice texture. We add a bit of white grey to our demonet height and continue to highlight the horn on a smaller surface. Again. Try to make lines with your brush so you can add some texture to the horn. We glaze that highlight as well to smooth it out a bit, but not too much. Two layers of glazing will do fine. Now with a bit more of white grey, we add our final highlight to the horn. We are using this nice off-white color, so it will give us a desaturated cold look. And for these horns, I think it looks nice. Now we give some warmth to our mini. With Mephisto Red we fix the parts where the Blood Angels Red may be pulled too much or not cover the surface as nice as we wanted to. 
We fix our mistakes at this part. If you painted some gum metal over the skin, fix it with Mephiston Red. We start building our highlights with Squig Orange. Focus on the nose, eyebrows, mouth, ears, cheeks, shoulders, and don't forget about the hand. Everything that looks upward, we'd like to cover that. Even the back of the wing, but don't cover the inner parts and the crevices. This way, we will keep our dark red shadows provided by Blood Angels Red. Highlight the hair and around 50% of the wings with this color. Do you recognize this sound? Yes, I'm slapping on your tiny hand because you haven't subscribed yet. So do it please. Okay? Okay. Then we glaze our squig orange to make a nice transition. Not super smooth. Two layers will do just nicely. Add some sunny skin tone to our squig orange and let's increase the contrast of our skin. Pick smaller parts inside the squig orange and aim between a heavy glaze and a base layer consistency. It's okay if you go back a couple of times to increase the opacity of the color and it will look nice. Papa Lavort is so proud of you that you made it this far and your tiny hands are nice and relaxed. Not burning red because you put paint where you shouldn't have. Okay? okay. To make our new layer smoother, we apply it with a glaze consistency as well over our previous coat of paint. sunny skin tone, we add the final highlights to our imp skin. It's more of a heavy glaze consistency, it flows nicely from the brush, yet you have nice control over it. And basically that is the most basic thing you should master as a painter. That you can always create the desired consistency for your paint and be aware of different effects of different diluted ratios. It takes long time and it's a bit different with every paint, but if you have a feel for it, then concepts like NMM and OSL would be much easier for you to understand. Then we paint the eyes with white grey. It will serve us as an undercoat for our E and then yellow to get that flamey look. Pun intended. Because imps are tiny flamey demons, you know? But we do the eyes, so we give another meaning to look. Sometimes I, I even surprise myself. Lastly, we paint his little nails and those wing claws with Mechanicus Standard Grey. And guys, that's it! These little limbs take like around 30 minutes to paint one. So you can do them on a lazy evening. Okay? Papa Labort is so honored that you joined him on this nice little painting adventure. I hope you like these little ribs and uh, maybe you give them a try and paint it the same way. And if you do, please send the results to Papa Labor Instagram. Okay, I would really love to see it. Also follow Papa Laborts on Instagram and on Facebook. And I hope the rest of your day will be smooth as a granny's budget. Also please like the video and subscribe.